<laughs> eh, oh fuck. Testing out the heaps with the Jeeps and the Rusty. Oh, bumpy motherfucker. Anyway, we got some obstacles to try out. Got a crack in my windshield. Let's see how capable this stock Cherokee is, at least. <laughs> That's some big boys. Man. Today, I'm going to cut these fenders off and trim the flares and make it look a little bit better while also preventing possible tire rub in the future. Because that's no bueno. So I got this guy taped off. And then I'm gonna cut in right here and cut there, leaving this guy as a flap. That way, a lot of guys I see that cut their fenders end up with these guys sticking down and I don't wanna hit those on the tires. So I'll leave that one, the first one there. And then the flap will start here. The fender will be here. This will all be gone. I've got some round the jammers for there to replace that and then I've transferred it to the other side using a tape measure making sure I've got the same distance here and here etc and then I also went ahead and did the rear so then it'll just be like a flat fender plastic if I bash them I don't care they can get ripped off and then I'll just make something out of metal but in the meantime it'll at least get rid of this lip so you don't tear up your tires or rip this off prematurely getting it wadded up on a trail ran out of tape here but electrical tape works so now i'm going to chop these off i gotta disconnect the wires here first so i don't cut through those and then uh apparently the way to do these guys because if you do this guy i guess it's a three wire and these are two wire and there's a way to do this i had i think i have another video on cherokee chop lighting that explains how to do it with a resistor so you know there's a way to do it with two wire hooking it up to this but you can very easily just tape this guy up the actual wire harness up in here and tuck it up in there safely out of the way and then use this guy which is two wire to run these guys here now here's why you would want to do that one anybody who's done led swaps on their blinkers know right off the bat that your blinker 
instead of going blink, 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 blink on the dash is going to go blink, 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 like it does when you have a bulb that has busted or burned out. It's obvious why they made it that way. When you have a burnt out bulb, you're going to notice it because of the faster blink on the dash. You get out, you check your lights, you figure out which one it is. It's obviously only going to be to one side because you're hitting the blinker. You know which side it is. So you check the front or rear on that side, you replace the bulb. Newer vehicles, you probably have an indicator or uh, if you have LED blinkers, you may have switched your flasher relay, which is causing that blinking, to a newer style that allows for LED bulbs. This way you will still have that feature with the LED bulbs, it'll blink faster if one of them's not getting current to the ground. There's another way of doing it, of putting a resistor in line, um, so it, it creates enough draw to fire off that flasher the right way. You can put a bulb in the wire somewhere to create that resistance. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. But we already have a bulb in line right here. And we already have this guy. So if we tuck this guy up in there, taped up, protected, with the bulb still in it, it'll even make the fender area glow. But this guy connects to a two wire. And what this does is the signal from the blinker switch on the steering column is actually removing the ground from this light so that these alternate back and forth. It's the way Jeep and a bunch of different manufacturers have wired side indicators. But that way this one is on and then this one is off and they alternate back and forth when your blinker is working. We're going to take advantage of that fact by putting this guy with this wire bundle over here. And this guy will be tucked in. You won't see it. You may, you may not if we make it glow the fender well or not. But that way this will be on all the time when the lights are on. And as soon as you hit the blinker, the blinker switch is going to remove the ground, which will turn that light off, blinking it. And then we will still have the same speed blinker because we haven't removed this bolt. Back to work. Before. After. Yeah. Still got to file that up a little bit, but all kinds of room for activities. And then after you cut all of this off and paint it. Got to put the blinkers in under the headlights and then i also usually take some fuel line and i split the fuel line down the middle and then you can glue it onto this edge here so nobody gets cut but yeah time to get the hole saw and there we go lights are in fenders are cut tomorrow will be winch installed day Thanks for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on modding.